What's happening, Musical Pandas? Peter Von Panda here. Rui Zhu has an MP3 player here. As I unbox it, you might be saying, Pete, why did you buy a portable MP3 player? Do those things even exist anymore? Well, they do, and I found a bunch of them. Looks like it comes with a standard set of earbuds. Pretty mediocre quality. Three and a half millimeter jack. It could be used for a lot of stuff. Uh, looks like it also comes with the user manual, which I actually might need because I don't think this has a you know, touch screen or anything, but I actually got this for a couple reasons. And <laughs> this, like the flip video cameras, start making a little bit of sense to me in some cases. And it does come with a micro USB cable here. And the reason they, they make sense to me, like those flip video cameras now, even though those companies went bankrupt and obviously a lot of companies don't make many um, MP3 players anymore, is because they're so cheap now, you can actually load these suckers up with a lot of music and have music on a device that other people can use. So let me give you the example and why I got this, is I have Bluetooth speakers that I use outside when I am uh, entertaining guests. And you know, usually I am broadcasting music via Pandora from my iPhone and whatnot, but that doesn't give my guests the opportunity to change my songs, right? To change the music or to change the volume. Um, and so a little device like this, allowing them to scroll through things, choose their own music, choose the next song, discover a song, things like that, where it doesn't require me to uh, be away from my phone or give up control of my own phone or my iPad or something like that, where I actually might want it or you have security issues or whatever, privacy issues. Uh, so something like this can actually be really useful. And because they're so cheap, if it gets damaged, it gets lost, you don't have to worry about it. The other time I noticed this was when I went on tailgate and you know we were playing music and when I would walk away and disconnect from the Bluetooth speaker, that was annoying when it was playing from my phone. So you can have something like this connected to your speaker, have all your music on it and still uh, continue to have a great event with um, a dedicated music player. So let me just give you a little look at this X50. Eight gigs of onboard storage, has a little clip here, spring-loaded clip so you can fit this on a belt. Man, this thing is small. This thing is really small. You can see how small it is. Look, here's a here's a key fob, and so it's not much bigger than that. So pretty pretty awesome. Kind of a baby blue. It really feels nice. I mean, the, the, the plastic is pretty decent. And up on the top, it actually feels pretty decent. Looks like we have a TF or SD card slot there, micro USB in for charging. Looks like we have a volume rocker on this side. We have power button on the top, three and a half millimeter headphone jack there. So um, I don't know that this will pair Bluetooth, but you could either use the three and a half millimeter jack or get a uh, Bluetooth uh, transmitter for the, for the three and a half millimeter jack, which is what I use in my Fiat. So I'm just gonna hold this down here. Hopefully we have a little charge. And Rui Zhu has a little bit of a charge. Now, uh, we're going to have to select some things. I think that's going to select English. And now, uh, there probably is no music on this. Although, sometimes there's a default song. Let me take a look and see what... Um, so, it looks like we have, we have some. Looks like they put Hotel California on there. Not sure that that's entirely legal, but... I'm going to jack up the volume. I can hear it. Hopefully you can hear it too. I'm just holding the earbuds up somewhere around the, the, the camera. And play pause. Looks like I can move ahead or back. Hit this, looks like that's a menu button so we get to play mode. Go, go to sound settings here. So we've got some, some detailed sound settings which is kind of nice. There's a back button right there. Go up here to play mode play music from shuffle is always nice so I'm gonna turn shuffle on and now like I said you can put on up to eight gigs of music which is quite a lot but you know it might actually be easier to transfer songs onto the TF or the SD card slot here and then put them on and when you do that you you know sky's the limit I mean I have 256 gig SD card so pretty awesome um, so far I kind of like this thing and the other thing is you don't have to just do it for social gatherings but you know if you're a jogger or um, you know someone who's active and you want to um, take your music with you you know whether you're running or hiking and you don't want to necessarily 
uh, play off your phone or even carry your phone sometimes. You know, when I'm out and about, I don't even like carrying my phone. And now that I have my Apple Watch, I really like, you know, knowing that if I'm going to receive a phone call, I can get it off there. But what I don't do is I don't push a lot of music to it. I don't, I don't cue any music on it, to be honest. And so this is something where I can have the music that I want, set up the playlists and the groupings that I want, and just grab it and use this uh, instead of relying on my Apple Watch or trying to push music to it last minute, which is not the easiest thing to do. So pretty clever. I'm still gonna play around with this thing and, and use it, but I'm pretty excited to honestly have a dedicated MP3 player, as strange as that sounds in this day and age. So check it out. Like I said, under 30 bucks. There's obviously a color screen there with a, about an inch in diagonal um, for not a lot of money. It's gonna save you a lot of headache if you need it. I'll put a link to it in the description. Peter Von Panda, out.